my dear Leos, this is a reading about what the person most on your mind would want to happen between you two with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And, what, um, and this will be a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Leo, this will be a reading about what the person most on your mind wants to happen between you two can often be a conflict between head and heart and this will be revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. I will also reveal what they would tell you if they dare to tell you the truth uh, with the brutally honest oracle cards. And for a cross watcher this reading will most likely be about where the Leo person's thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways, the drama is the same but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And I usually read for the empath side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. And I will use the Telema Tarot with Renata Leshner for the tarot reading part. Okay, so when I open your deck here, I see Ace of Swords and King of Pentacles. So it seems like this person has something important uh, that they wish to tell you. Okay, I call the Divine with Love and Light. And here we have also the Ace of Cups with the King of Pentacles, which kind of indicate what it is that they want to tell you, um, that they have love uh, on their mind and on their heart when it comes to you and it's something stable that they would want to offer you as well so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the empress with the ace of cups so it seems like they have come to the conclusion that you are the one or the most important person uh, in their life uh, at this point and uh, uh, it might be that they want to offer you some peace gift here or uh, they want to say that they're sorry or forgiving you, whatever resonates. Uh, so I will, I call the six elements and here I have also six pentacles with the ace of cups. So that's really beautiful. They want to make a real effort. They want to be the one giving in this situation. They want to be the one fixing uh, the issue. Um, taking it on them to uh, curing uh, whatever needs to be curing or it might be someone coming with like an offer of um, uh, engagement or commitment to towards you so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear leo viewers so I want my dear Leos to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So um, we also saw they were showing themselves as king of pentacles while, while they showed you as the empress. So they might feel a little bit out of your league somehow. Okay. So I'm just going to tune in to you, the person most on your mind and what they would want to happen between you two. Okay. This is the most likely action that they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. This is what they dream of uh, <laughs> should happen between you two. On an emotional level, this is what they want. And this is what they plan and dream of with their mind, with their head. And we have a king of wands here, kind of representing Leo and justice. This is Libra and queen of swords, it's Libra. Uh, so uh, someone wants to give you justice and probably they want to be your hero as well. Um, they want to do the right thing. Uh, they want to repair something. Um, maybe before they were too emotional or... Um, they were not feeling good about themselves uh, so uh, but that's something that they have realized now that a lot of things that uh, have happened between you in the past that wasn't uh, you didn't feel that it was a good thing that happened is um, they have analyzed this to be 
uh, because they had uh, insecurities or um, they projected certain uh, situations on you, certain feelings, and uh, um, they were hurt basically and had low self-esteem. And here we have on an emotional level what they dream of. And with the Three of Swords, they uh, probably feel a lot of hope is gone. Five of Swords. Um, I think they feel very guilty about something that they have done in the past. Uh, maybe they made you believe that they didn't love you. And uh, now uh, it's um, they probably think that you are protecting yourself or you have been. Uh, acting like you, you can't be reached, um, having self-respect. So um, I'm feeling the two of wands is very connected to the high priestess with that situation. Like um, being a high value person doesn't, you don't let um, a bad situation into your life. So they feel like they have done so many bad things that you won't let them into their life. And here is their most likely action. And we have the lover, so they can't help but loving you. Um, it comes from uh, deep within and it has a uh, uh, sole purpose, uh, this love. And um, this is something new that <laughs> have appeared to them. So they might not have always known this, uh, but it has come like to their knowledge um, they see things in a new and a, and a different way and it took a long while for them to come to this point okay so this is um, uh, the plans um, what they plan for what they would want to happen between you two and we have a king of cups uh, so they would uh, they would want to show you their love and with the dove there they probably want to say that they're sorry and fix certain things. Uh, they would want to, I feel like a very caretaking vibration. They would want to uh, heal the pain that they have caused you uh, in the past and uh, uh, show you how deep their love goes. Okay, and here we have the Six of Cups, which is the reconciliation card and the Four of Swords. Uh, so one part of them is really, uh, really aimed towards uh, showing you this love. But for some reason, for a source, it's like they're frozen. Um, they don't dare to uh, make a move. So we'll see where it goes with that. Um, this is a Scorpio, Cancer, Libra, again, energy. So um, it might be a person being very diplomatic. They know this themselves, but they might not want to share it with you and disturb your peace. Um, maybe they think too long time has passed or uh, that if they come and, and um, show you love now and, and give, you, um, give you what you probably have wanted them to give for a very long time, Maybe that would interrupt you in your healing or getting over them. And maybe they will disturb you just in the point where they, you have been able to get over them. So it's something with consideration here. Three of cups and the nine of swords. Uh, this is a little bit more tricky. Three of cups and the nine of swords. Well, I think they've, they are pretty sure that you have moved on. Uh, with someone else and that it, they are too late okay they have wasted too much time and now uh, now it's too late um, it's a lot of guilt here they might have a lot of sleepless night uh, thinking about these things back and forth back and forth uh, how they have lost the opportunity to reconcile with you and, and put everything straight so it's not really plans as much as um, uh, fear um, so they don't have much uh, hope like the heart seems hopeful because the heart rules this um, cups card uh, but their mind um, thinks that you have already a great time with someone else or that you have uh, moved on or that they would destroy your happiness if they uh, if they came back or if they were uh, stepping up their game here and the king of wands so king of wands king of cups you might be dealing with a scorpio uh, cancer libra <laughs> cancer gemini okay or another leo 
for some of you. Now the fire sign can be Aries or Sagittarius as well. And this is uh, on an emotional level. And we can see on the Four of Pentacles that their heart is a little bit closed and guarded. Uh, so we have both Four of Swords here, Four of Pentacles. I think they have one emotional setting uh, where they would want to fix everything with you. But every time they come to the point, like their natural expression inside of themselves, oh, I want to fix it uh, with this person. I'm, I'm dreaming of this person all the time. Uh, I want us to get a new chance. But immediately their mind comes in and say, no, uh, this is dangerous or you can't ever reach out to them or um, you don't know if they even want you anymore or you don't know if you would destroy things for them by reaching out. Uh, so they have like a split mind uh, in many ways here. And this is the fool. So that's a little bit more bravery and the three of wands. So it seems like they will get over this uh, hesitance eventually or their heart uh, really wants them to get over this. Their heart is pushing for them to uh, reach out to you, to communicate with you. And it come with a white rose showing very pure intention. And they are hoping for, I'm thinking they're dreaming of past wonderful times that you have had together. And um, they are imagining, uh, telling you uh, um, certain things that will lead them to having access to this, uh, uh, this kind of happiness again, to be close to you, to uh, be honored by um, being allowed to be near you or um, calling you their friend or their lover or their partner. Um, <clears throat> so, and here we have a death. Uh, together with seven and one. So again, very, very, very little hope. And it's two problems here. Uh, first, they think it's too late. Um, you have moved on or you don't want them as a partner anymore, maybe as a friend, but not a partner, not a love partner anyway. Uh, and um, it's also, um, this is a marsh in Leo. So they think that you have closed shop here and they are just going to make a fool of themselves. I'm thinking that's why we have the force here. They don't want to, it's very important for them to not make a fool of themselves. Um, so they think the chance is, is gone and they are trying to discourage their own heart uh, from taking this leap of faith, which they want to take uh, because they think this is um, how it will end. This is how it will begin with all this hope. And this is how it will end with you saying, no, this has been over for long. Um, we are never going to be together again. So, uh, three of swords. Uh, so they have very little hope. Uh, we have three, three, three here. It's connected to the Empress card that we saw uh, with you being the one. So you're very much on their mind and they are very tormented by um, whatever have happened between you two to cause this kind of split, what I'm feeling here. And um, But they are very cautious. They don't want to hurt themselves and be uh, like stupidly naive and uh, just, um, you know, make a leap of fate. And then uh, they end up here with you saying, ha, uh, do you think that I would take you back? It's over. It has been over for long. I don't know why you are even calling me or texting me. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, and this is um, uh, their most likely action. And we have the five of cups. So this is a person being very tormented. They probably cry. Um, cry a lot or uh, sometimes if they are not a crying kind of person they still it come tears to their eyes uh, when they realize what they want but they also realize that they are stopping themselves it's like they have these boundaries for you so you don't have to ever say no they have already said no uh, instead of you and I'm thinking it's a little bit um, self-protective here uh, they don't know how to deal with the kind of emotion that would come if they knew all hope was gone now they just they believe all hope is gone but if they actually knew it for real if you would give them a straight answer no all hope is gone um, they they don't know if they could deal with that or if they can even take it in uh, okay and here we have a knight of wands so that's brave uh, all these cards here talks about reconciliation, talks about being brave and 
you know, throwing yourself, <laughs> putting yourself out there and uh, taking a chance, you know, if you want something, nothing should stop you from getting it. And at least you can, uh, the best you can do is try. Uh, so here they have a lot of hope. They have a, a part of their personality where they can be very brave and do brave things. But they also have very bad expectations from this. But we can see they're very tormented also uh, without you. So this might trigger them to uh, come out of their shell a little bit. We have both the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands here. But unfortunately the Four of Coins in between um, saying that... Um, they are minding their own business <laughs> basically and here we have our uh, seven of swords nine of swords death seven of swords i think this person um have a hard time handling rejection uh, rejection would be the worst thing ever in this person's mind if they would be rejected they will feel like it's like dying uh, so um if they would come to you uh, because they are so sad and they want to reach out, they would lie to you. They wouldn't tell you the truth. Uh, they would tell you like something that was an excuse for making an approach uh, towards you. Um, it can be something that would probably maybe irritate you a little bit with the uh, Seven of Swords there. It feels like I would be irritated <laughs> by the Seven of Swords there. Then we have the World card and the Five of Wands. So uh, the World card uh, is, a co is the last card of the Major Arcana and this is Death. Here we have the Three of Cups, Three, Two plus One, Three. So um, this says that, it basically says that you have the chance here uh, to move on. And I'm feeling this is message, message uh, for my Leos, uh, I really don't see this person moving on. Uh, they have a lot of pain, so they are they are smack in the middle of that pain. But you have the chance to move on and kind of forget about this person, ditch this person, end it with this person. Um, you don't have to live in in their hell here. And for them, they are very conflicted because they want you uh, so much and they want this reconciliation. But it's so uh, scary for them uh, to face rejection. So they have deep inner conflicts. So it's, it's like this. They will go to your door and then they will think, nah, it's not going to end well. And they're going home again. And then they are, you know, starting to text you and then they raise the message. And they are taking the phone, uh, dialing your number, uh, this peeping <laughs> like in their phone and then they cut it down. Uh, so it's definitely a person with uh, a lot of inner conflict. And if they would come to you, they would probably come to you in some kind of smart ass uh, uh, way and say things that uh, would make you want to close shop with them and make you feel like, oh, then I knew uh, this. Now I got it black on white that this person is not good for me. Now I can move on and I will say no to them. And, and so they are really doing this to themselves. It's like they're self-destructive uh, because they're so fear, fearful of rejection. So they're acting like they don't even want you. So you can never re reject them. And you will spot that they are acting this ridiculous and you will you know, be so tired of them that you want to and not ever see them again. And um, that's how they self-destruct there with the five of wands. So, clarification. Uh, so, why does this person do this? I have a traumatized inner child. Uh, so, something has happened to them that really put a lot of fear into them. And um, so, their, um, their survival technique is to never expose themselves to be rejected. Never, ever, ever expose themselves to be rejected. So, that's why they're acting so ridiculously here is because they have this traumatized inner child and uh, the child probably got very rejected and uh, it felt like it was going to die and now when they are grown up uh, they uh, try to protect themselves from ever feeling like that uh, ever again uh, i never felt like this before i think i said it <laughs> uh, they never want to feel like this again. So this is rather it. But uh, it's also 
uh, you have become immensely important to them. Uh, 333 is connected to the Empress card we saw and the Fool here. So it's like they're standing in front of this person uh, that they want maybe more than life itself. But they know, they feel so deeply that they are going to lose you, that they can't be honest with you. And um, so I, I think it's true both ways. I never felt like this before with someone else, but also they never want to feel like they did when they got traumatized. But unfortunately now, I think they are like swimming around in this trauma on a daily basis because uh, from my point of view, they are always re they are already rejected um because i don't see uh, i see them wanting to come back and fixing things so it must must be that you uh, are not in maybe speaking terms or uh you're not like really having this warm relationship so they are basically they're already rejected and maybe because of uh, behaviors like this uh, i was a fool <laughs> where they have um acting in ways that's protect that's seemingly protecting themselves but is self-destructive and it's also pissing you off and making you feel like ugh I took the right decision with ending this with this person. This fool is good. <laughs> this fool, it's not good. This is bravery. It's like being naive and innocent and having hope and trying. And this is like giving up before you have even started and pretend like you don't want this, uh, what you're aiming for. Uh, so see if they, we belong together. For me, money is important and I can't forgive. We belong together, yeah. Um, I feel that they think you are with someone else, but uh, they think that you belong with them and you should be with them and they would be happy if you were back together. So you are like a prize they can win. Uh, but since they want it so much, they can't, um, they can't uh, admit to this. For me, money is important. I'm thinking it's um, uh, the surface is important. For example, to not... Um, uh, act too uh, naive and loving and uh, so you will make a fool of yourself so instead they are lying and saying and no it's not so important for me I'm um, I only wanted to see how you were um, if you don't want to talk you don't want to talk no no big deal but for real it's a big deal but they are not telling you because appearance is important and um, it might be that there has happened something in the past uh, where they um, valued money over you or valued some kind of safety over you or maybe put effort into rather their career or their money than to um, put their effort into you which might have also um, helped with <laughs> them losing you and I can't forgive uh, it was something uh, I caught here but I was uh, speaking a lot so I kind of lost it. Um, see here, I can't forgive. It's something you have done and they fear that you will do it again. Maybe you have rejected them in the past here and they fear that you will do it again. And they have a hard time forgiving that because they have this traumatized inner child. And uh, so you kind of did the thing that um, you repeated the trauma that happened to them. Probably by saying no to them, rejecting them because they were acting like this. But uh, since they uh, have this self-destructive behavior, this trauma, uh, they are also adding up, adding to that that they can't forgive. Uh, so it's very, uh, very troublesome situation. Um, see what's your point in all this. I was scared of trusting you. I was never good enough for you. So you probably felt taken for granted uh, a lot and like they could, you know, disappear at any moment and um, that they weren't uh, really there for you. And it was because they couldn't admit to being there for you uh, because that would open them up to be vulnerable and that is leading straight towards their traumatized inner child. Uh, so they probably acted um, um, like a fool when you were together. It was important for me to be the provider. So here you seem to have a little bit of a clash. Um, this person wants to uh, be able to 
like have success in the world, make a name for themselves, have a like a certain kind of appearance. And for you, it's important to have. Um, uh, how can I describe it? This it's to have control, to be able to uh, give into the situation, to be the provider, to be the one that fixes thing, fixes problem, um, providing maybe food, shelter, uh, money, things like this. And um, uh, this might be clashing a little bit with this person because I don't think they want to take any handouts from you. Uh, we can see this here. They want to be their own person. And so they didn't want to be dependent on you in any kind of way. And um, so it might be that they also held you on an arm's length distant because we saw in the beginning that they didn't feel like they were in your league. So maybe they were... They wanted to work on being in your league. Uh, but for you, uh, uh, probably it wasn't so important for you to that they were in your league. You were gladly giving things to them and, and providing for the relationship. But this person uh, probably didn't want to end up in a situation where they were uh, relying on you for things that they needed because that would put them in the same spot as when they got traumatized as a child that they were uh, dependent on the people that traumatized them and so they didn't want to put themselves in the same situation again subconsciously or consciously and um, so you probably felt like i offering this all these things to you and you uh, don't want to take it you don't want to take it because you don't love me enough. But I don't think that was the problem. For them, it was important to be uh, autonomous, that they were able to take care of themselves so they would never put themselves in this vulnerable position again of being um, like in need of a person that had the power to hurt them or reject them. And it's all end ending up with rejection, of course, because whatever we fear, we will end up creating it. But um, I will see if there's um, some hope for this uh, relationship. There's a lot of misunderstandings due to uh, fear. Uh, I think you just wanted to be nice by uh, providing and saying they don't, didn't have to stress about these things. Uh, but they felt like this was a trap and that they needed to take care of themselves because in other case they would be this vulnerable uh, child and they never want to be uh, like that. Uh, they they should be like that because that vulnerability is what's make them human but because of the trauma they have learned that this is dangerous uh, so what's really needing in this situation is trust from both sides that you could actually trust each other and uh, build from that because then you don't have to um, you, you don't have to have your old fears traumas and pains uh, destroying this relationship okay uh, let go of control issues. So, for example, being the provider or trying to make this person um, into what you want them to be because you're disappointed with them um, for something that happened in the past where I feel they were kind of rejecting you. And uh, then we have new love. So this is a possibility for you here. Uh, and this is also what this person sees for you, that you are better off with someone new or you already have someone new. Um, so um, you can't really do much for this person at this point. And um, I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated with that because I would want yeah, like a happy ending to your story here, but make the effort. Yeah, because that means someone needs to make the effort. And I don't think you want to make it because you already made the effort and they said kind of no to that. And they don't want to make the effort because they're super scared of um, uh, rejection that would put them back to their trauma. So you're very much in a locked situation. So therefore, the divine is suggesting new love because making the effort is not something... You don't want that, seven of wands, they don't want that, seven of swords. They would lie about it and you are having your protection up very high because of the past where you felt you couldn't trust this person and they took you for granted. Uh, so therefore, neither of you are making an effort and therefore there's no relationship, basically. And I will see what they would tell you from their soul. 
but this is your choices it's not the divine choices it's um, your wounds have been uh, have been directing this relationship uh, so from their soul when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love uh, so I'm getting a little bit almost teared up here because this person basically says that they will remember you as long as they will live okay if that means anything for you <laughs> but uh, it's a little bit like a locked situation I understand that you have been uh, uh, feeling taken advantage of in different ways because you offered so much and they didn't want to have any of it and they didn't value what you gave to them uh, so that probably led to this situation where they became rejected <laughs> and uh, in one way or the other because you put up the, the fence and now they don't want to be rejected again because they don't feel that they can take it already now from this first rejection because you didn't want to be like a second choice or um, be taken for granted. This is all the pain that they are feeling from this. It's a rather immense pain. So I'm agreeing with them that they probably can't take more pain. And uh, I agree with you because uh, you don't want to be treated like that again. So therefore, it's a little bit of a locked situation. Okay. Uh, so I would urge you to watch the reading, the true thoughts and feelings for your sign in the true thoughts and feelings playlist or the love reading for April or May that will probably reveal more about this situation. Jet planes in the night sky with you. Today, if you can't get enough of my readings on YouTube, you can now become a member to my channel and get access to premium content videos. There are three different levels to choose from. You can become a supportive member and get personal and spiritual growth readings for the collective. Getting high in the sunrise with you. The second option is to become an extended member where you get access to the collective readings from the previous level. And you will also be able to see all the channel's astrological tarot readings for all the signs ahead of time and ads free. Getting through all the bad times with you. I wasn't missing a thing, no, I do. And I wish that I could be. The third option is to become a full member where you get access to all the perks from the previous levels and on top of that you will get short personal readings from me every week. It is very similar to super chat readings but here you subscribe instead of paying for super chats. There is a lot of other perks that's available for all levels as membership loyalty badges, custom emojis and other special features. I come and get you. I can't forget you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you all the time. I wish that if you subscribe to my channel you will be able to see the join button where you can learn more about the membership you can also follow the link in the description box to check this out and if you are still not convinced that this is a good option for you you can become a member just to support my channel and help me keep on doing readings for all the astrological signs I hope you will join and we will have so much fun together. Thank you for watching this far. I'm sending you all my love and all my gratitude. <laughs>